The Mayan Empire is spread all over Guatemala. One of the ways the people in Lake Aretlan preserve this culture is through their religion. Although most practice Catholicism, they also believe in the ancestral practice of the Nahuales. Nahuales are Mayan gods in spirit form. We are here right now visiting a holy grandfather. A lot of the people, they call him Mashimong. Mashimong means it's, it's a knot. It's tied, his body is tied with different string inside him. And Maximong is very ancient. It's been worshiping uh, like 3,000 years. And many people, they come here to worship Holy Grandfather for health, for protection, for education. And people, they're not feeling well. And they do a special ritual ceremonial here. People, when they feel well, then they come back for a second ceremony. They will bring gifts. You see the Holy Grandfather, Rilach Mam. That's what we call him in Sutuhil. And they bring him a ties, and they bring him a silk scarf uh, to give him, to honor the grandfather for blessing, for doing the healing with this person. And many people coming in, not just tourists bringing donation, but also the local people, they come from different towns, they bring donation, they bring scarf. Believing in two or more different religions is called religious syncretism. In this temple, you will also find Catholic saints. San Juan, Saint John, it's Lord of Animals. And Saint John, uh, the way the Mayan believe, uh, he takes care of all of the animals up in the mountains. And we have a special bundle over there, which you see like different color of corn, like red corn, blue corn, yellow corn, white corn. It's a special bundle inside the box. They take the bundle once a year, like June 24, they dance the bundle because that's the Lord of thundering and Lord of the rain and clouds and also hearts of food, hearts of corn. That's what represents that big box over there. Lake Aridlan is a mystical and magical place. Meeting the shaman, the temple, and Maximo enlightened me to yet another ancient religion, one that is still very much alive today. Thank you.